guys, it's Lissy. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, did you notice something new? Do you see it? Can you see it? I actually just dyed my hair pink. I feel like a little unicorn right now. Comment down below, should I keep the pink? Is it a vibe? I don't know. I just want to know, should I keep this? I've been wondering if I should keep it or not because I really do like it. Anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be reacting and looking at more of the creepiest children drawings on the internet. You guys really loved the last video where I looked at some really creepy drawings that children made and um, since you guys loved it so much, today we're doing a part two. If you guys are excited, be sure to smash a like and subscribe to join the family. And uh, you guys should join the family because why not? You guys don't want to miss out on my awesome videos. But yeah, guys, we're just going to look at some of these creepy kids drawings and um, this is why I'm not going to have kids. Okay, so this first drawing is called Serena. It says, I asked my niece to draw her imaginary friend Serena. She's four years old and when she sleeps over, her and Serena play in the living room. She says Serena likes my house. I shudder to imagine what would happen if she didn't. So that's her? That's Serena? Who's gonna tell her that her uh, imaginary friend is a, a demon? A literal demon trying to destroy her? Well, um, that's a very creative little girl that they have there. I mean, she's definitely like a degree in art. That thing's creepy. It could be like the lead character of a horror video game. Um, yeah. I don't know. Whose kid is that? Whose kid is that? I just want to talk. So this next one is called Children of the Corn. Before I read the description of this one, here are the drawings. It has some little kids with a knife, coffee shop, a, a person on the ground with some ketchup, clearly. Okay, I want to read the description. I don't really know what's going on here. It says these pictures are from a horror movie, Children of the Corn. A little girl has a psychic vision and draws disturbing pictures of children killing people in the town. So a kid just watched the movie and then drew that? Whose kids are watching horror movies this young? Of course it's gonna influence their art to look like that. This one says, how are you doing in hell? Oh, hell no. This is a demented drawing done by little brother Joey when he was six and my parents put him in a timeout. This is why you don't lock little Joey in the corner, in the in the chair, in the timeout corner, because he's gonna be drawing pictures like this when he gets out. How are you doing in hell? Love you, Joey, dad, and dead. That's horrible horrifying. Clearly this is demented. This is a weird piece of art. I don't know how to feel about the demon in the middle or the how are you doing in hell sequence of this all. I don't know. Maybe just don't put your kids in timeouts like that, I guess. Okay, so this next one is called Deep Red. Oh my god, that's a drawing? That's creepy good, okay? For a kid? All right, that was pretty detailed. In the movie Deep Red, a man scrapes the plaster off the wall of an abandoned building and finds creepy children drawings. Wait, what? Did a kid draw this? I'm confused. Or is this from the movie? Because like, if a kid drew that, it's very realistic looking. I mean, look at the smile on that kid's face. Ooh. The big crazy tower of death. Okay, so crazy big tower. Oh, whoa. Okay, blur that editor. That's an inappropriate door. Whose kid is drawing a tower of doom? There's no description as to why the kid drew a dangerous tower where people are getting hurt with a lava guy on the left. Kids have such bright imaginations these days. Wow, don't we just love our future generations to come? This one's called called Dear Sarah. When I was leaving for summer, my six-year-old sister drew this picture to tell me how much she loved me. She is crying over my grave, which notice the shovel. She seems to have dug herself. Ew, okay. So it says, Dear Sarah, I now have much you you love me but i love you more even when you are dead that is messed up that is messed up these kids are too young to be drawing this kind of drawings seriously take the crayons and paper away okay if they're gonna be drawing this mm -mm, they're gonna be ending up the main character of a horror film shortly after these okay this one's called if alex ever rides a bike again um this is a drawing done by a six-year-old boy named jake when his brother alex made him mad one day he drew this and placed it on his bed is a menacing warning. If Alex ever rides a bike again, this is what will happen. <gasps> Wait, why is his brother dead on the ground with the bike? No. Okay, well, that's kind of messed up. It's not that deep, all right? My sibling did that. I don't know if I'd be able to recover. That's a little too much. A little too much. That kid needs some therapy. Mama. Mama. Sorry, I had to read it like that. That's not mama. Um, okay, in the movie Mama, two children draw these disturbing figures on the wall. Whose kids are drawing this on the wall? That ain't mama. If so, that's why they're running from them. If your mama runs like that, run away fast. I mean, if your mama looks like that, run away fast. Two-headed monster. Oh, why does this appear? 
kind of look like Chuck E. Cheese. Y'all see the resemblance, right? Does that not look like Charles eating a kid on the ground? That kind of looks like my 3 a.m. videos. Just a little bit, okay? Just, I see a little bit of the resemblance there. I give that a 10 out of 10 on the creativity chart for these children drawings. I think this is one of my favorite so far. Mikey, okay, maybe this one has to top the last one, okay? The last one was good, but this is, oh, this is graphic. In the movie Mikey, an adopted boy draws this disturbing picture in school, disciping a turkey slaughtering a man for Thanksgiving. I mean, that's probably how the turkeys feel when um, we eat them for Thanksgiving. So, I mean, it's kind of a valid one. We love the creativity here. It's always the horror movies that make the children draw like really detailed things on the wall or on papers. Like, what is that with like horror movies like making kids draw like creepy things? This is why the children are drawing all these, okay? Because of the horror movies that you guys be showing them. Oh. Um, okay, this is another horror movie one. The movie Sinister. A figure named Mr. Boogie keeps showing up in the drawings of missing children. So, Daddy, Mommy, and Mr. Boogie! And he just kind of shows up and everybody's dying and missing. And, oh, there's Mr. Boogie and everybody's dead on the tree! And there's Mr. Boogie and a kid exploding in a car. We love the creativity here. I'm telling you, it's all horror movies' fault! Okay, this one's creepy. This one's called Imaginary Friends. My three-year-old daughter drew- Excuse me, we have to back up a second. Did you say three-year-old? old daughter. They are three years old and they're drawing this. Yo, okay, continuing on. They drew a hauntedly disturbing picture of her imaginary friend. She said, they're dead and I see them because they live with me. She said the holes in their chests are from when they were shot dead. This is a three-year-old child. Are they not in like their diaper? Like, excuse me? They're drawing dead people? Oh, hell no. I don't even want to know. Mm-mm. That's not a kid, that's a demon drawing that. Okay, so this one is celebrating the dance of death. Me and dad dance on mommy's grave. No, this is a little picture of this girl really drew herself and her dad dancing on their mom's dead grave. That is terrible. She must really not like her mom. But seriously though, I don't know whose kids are drawing this. I hope the mom did not see this drawing because like that was my child. I'd be disowning them. That is so creepy. Okay, so this one says maybe they discuss world politics or how they torture mommy and daddy. Wait, what does that even mean? It says mommy? Julian, daddy, and the talking boy? Who's the talking boy? What is up with kids having like imaginary friends that like they just add into their family picture and their parents are like, uh, son, who's a little Johnny, uh, the talking boy or your imaginary friend? They're like, oh, you know, I just see them under my bed every night and they come in my room and they talk to me. No, I'd be like so scared if my kid did any of that. That would freak me out. This one says, dear Valerie, get out of my life. I'm assuming that's Valerie's um, head on the floor there. Now that's, that's quite the drawing to give to somebody that you want out of your life. <laughs> it's a little much, just, just a little bit. But I mean, I guess it gets the point across, right? I mean, Valerie will be definitely leaving from their life after this drawing gets seen. Yo, what are these kids drawing? These just get progressively worse and worse. It looks like a bubble wand or something. It doesn't even look like a knife. Knives are not that big. Come on now. Mom will be so proud. I got Timmy to sleep. <gasps> Why is he shoving a pillow on Timmy's face? Oh, mom is not gonna be proud of that. Mom is gonna be so disappointed. You're about to go to the um, adoption center after Timmy's asleep. It says, maybe daddy should be thankful that he cannot see her. Why can't daddy see her? Dad looks really mad right there. The kid's just confused. And then there's just this dark entity crawling out of the closet in the background. Yeah, why can't, why can't daddy see her? Maybe because he's imaginary. Just like all the other kids drawing their inner demons that sleep on their bedside at night. He should probably get that scene too. Wait, what? Why is this one like a creepy man smiling, shooting a plane out of its butt? What is that supposed to be? Okay, this one really, <laughs> that's a goofy one. I don't know how to feel about that. That's more funny than it is scary. It's just, it's ugly, okay? It's the kind of stuff I'd be drawing in the third grade. This one's just a little heartbreaking, it says. It says, I hate divorce. Oh, wait, that's so sad. Oh, this is why you should not get a divorce, okay? Don't do this to your children. They're gonna be making sad drawings and going to therapy. This one says, beware the truth brush truth brush it says you're fat Ooh. wait that's kind of funny i'm sorry this person's about to grab their their toothbrush which is a tooth truth brush and it's telling them that they're fat <laughs> Same. That's an emotional one. Okay, this one says, the girl next to me is pretty 
tea. Collect her hair? And then it says me with scissors and her. Why is she collecting her hair? She's chopping off the pretty girl's hair. That's scary. Why is she smiling like that? Okay, kids are really imaginative these days. Anyways, guys, those were some of the creepiest children drawings on the entire internet. Comment down below which one do you guys think was the creepiest. And also, comment down below what do you guys want me to do next on my channel, guys. I do have some cool videos coming up for you guys, which you guys are going to have to be patient with. But I do always want to hear suggestions of what you guys want to see. And also, smash a like if you guys enjoyed today's video. And subscribe to join the family if you guys have not. It's Ben Lissy. Be sure to check out all my other socials. They're linked down below. I love keeping up with you guys on Instagram and TikTok and all my others, Twitter. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see all of you lovely people in the next video. Bye, guys.